Damaris Wanjohi is a Kenyan nurse working in Kwajok, one of South Sudan's safe havens for the many who fled the conflict. She works with a team of South Sudanese aid workers trying to make a difference. And I can tell you the situation was very, very bad because this is when, you know, there were a lot of displacements. There were people all over the IDP camps. There was a lot of congestion. You know, it was, it was really, really bad. The sanitation, the hygiene was really, really poor. It was, it was very bad. Being an African aid worker, she feels very close to the people of South Sudan because she can relate to the many problems they face on a daily basis. I look forward to a time that you know the country will be very peaceful and you know people will have time to cultivate their farms, that mothers will have time to look after their children instead of running all the time and you know being in displacement camps. That's, that's my hope. I hope things get better for them. Damaris is also leading the way when it comes to helping malnourished children in the wards and teaching mothers better sanitation practices. Well, I think for me, it's, it's, it's like, you know, just knowing that in my own little way, I'm contributing to saving the life of a child. Yeah, whatever little I do with my team, the team that you just saw here, you know, just knowing that maybe that child could have died if you had not intervened. So, you know, that, that gives me a lot of hope. It, gives, it drives me, it gives me the drive to continue, you know, moving and knowing that tomorrow we are likely to also save another child. Maybe in a week, three children could have died, but we were able to save them with our program. So that's really the motivation for me. Over a million people have been displaced since the fighting started in South Sudan almost two years ago. They are hoping the newly signed peace deal will hold and change their lives for the better. Maria Galang, CCTV.